this tutorial I want to talk about the option of audio samples of editing using audio samples and what that means is moving the audio waveform not by frames which would be 25 a second or 30 a second depending on whether you're PAL or NTSC but actually by audio samples now video takes 25 or 30 frames a second to give the illusion of moving pictures whereas audio for video is sampled not at 25 times a second or 30 times a second but to make the audio sound proper and make it sound good it's sampled at 48,000 times a second so between one second and the next there are 48,000 samples of audio which gives us really crystal clear sound so we have the option of being able to move audio by frames or by samples and you might turn around and say well surely 25 or 30 samples a second is enough but take it from me from experience it isn't if for some reason somebody speaking has become disjointed from the audio in other words the audio either you hear the audio first and then the lips move or more commonly the lips move and then the audio follows afterwards and you try and join them up by just moving those 25 or 30 samples a second you'll find to your frustration that they don't match up properly and occasionally you just need to get in there and move the audio by individual samples to get it absolutely lined up now why would this happen let me give you a simple example you are filming somebody at the back of a large building and you're zoomed into them so that you can clearly see their face and you're using the onboard microphone for whatever reason that might be you're not using a wireless microphone it's going to take a certain period of time for the audio from the front of the building to get to the back of the building whereas light is effectively instantaneous so because of that delay that distance the person's lips are going to move and then the audio is going to be recorded so they're not going to be in sync and you want to get in and change the synchronization to actually change or move the audio so that it's absolutely lined up with the lips and the way to do that is with audio samples not with individual frames I'll just show you the difference between the two firstly if you want to select a particular part of your shot for movement like this you hold the alt key or the option key on the Mac and click and let go and then let go of the alt key and it's selected now at this point if you'd have held the alt key or held your mouse and moved it you'd have duplicated the layer which would have caused you problems okay so we've just selected it I'm not holding the mouse or anything you can see it selected now if I was to zoom right in it's going to zoom in on my current time indicator so I'm zooming in really closely and you can see this here is the individual frames okay so I'm at 35 seconds and five frames and if I was to hold this and grab it and pull it across I get a little bit of feedback at the bottom and it's showing me I've moved one frame forward I moved two frames forward and let go and you can see very clearly at the front it's showing me two frames back for the video two frames forward for the audio and control Z to undo that so they're actually balanced out sometimes that's not enough however and as I say they don't link up so that's when you have an option which is also in the mixer panel and in the program panel so they're in the panel menus each of them and in the timeline panel menu you see you've got show audio time unit so when you click on that suddenly this all changes and you can see over here that I am presently at 35 frames and 11,520 audio samples and I can move my audio samples in there you go 34 seconds and 45,840 audio samples so again the same way hold the alt key and click on the audio and I can zoom in notice I now have the option to zoom in a lot more I was zoomed in fully before but now I can zoom in even more so that I can get pretty much down to the audio level so you see I'm here at 45,835 45,840 so you can actually see the individual audio samples and then I can click and start to move the waveform along and you can see I'm getting a little bit of feedback at the bottom to show how many audio samples I have moved and when I let go it's showing me here minus 0 0.7 and plus 0 0.7 so in other words seven audio samples have been moved so you do get good feedback as you move this along so let's move it 17 more let go it's 34 move it 25 more 59 so you see you're just moving it along or moving it back 
So let's move it back 21, 8. So if I now click on it slowly and pull it back minus 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, let go. I'm back to where I was to start off with. You might not think this is particularly useful, but I have to tell you I've had this problem. When you're looking at the video, I had a camera right at the back, which was my best camera, zoomed into the person speaking, and the two didn't match. So what did I do? I went in and I was able to adjust at audio level and get the lip sync absolutely perfect.